while working on optical fiber, or in an interview, we may heard about mode field diameter and effective area, or in another words, you may heard about large effective area fiber, like leaf or e-leaf fiber. Many folks often confused as core diameter and mode filed diameter are same, but that's not true, both are different. In this video, we'll discuss about what is mode field diameter and how it's different from core diameter and what's the benefits having large effective area fiber. As we all know, a optical fiber composed in thin glass rod and contains three parts. First is coating, which is plastic protective and it protect the fiber. Next is cladding, which allow the like to be in core. And important one is core, which carries the light. And using total internal reflection, lights travel in fiber core. Here the core diameter is just as it says, diameter of fiber core, which you know, 8.3 microns um for single mode fiber. This phenomena is theoretically correct. But in practice, when we transmit light, most of light propagate in core, but small part of signal propagate in cladding near to the core. That depends on wavelengths types, like large wavelength, travel in more cladding area. So this region, which most of signal propagate, called as mode field diameter, it's larger than core, example core of 8 micrometers, can yield 9.5 micrometers MFD. Effective area, is another term, that is used to define, the mode field diameter. The effective area, is the area of the fiber, corresponding to the, mode field diameter. The mode field diameter, or effective area, is an important feature of fiber, and has a direct influence on nonlinear effects. Nonlinear effects are those which directly depend on the power density of the light injected into the fiber. The higher the power density, the higher the incidence of nonlinear effects. The effective area of a fiber determines the power density of the light. For a given power level, a small effective area will provide a high power density. Subsequently, for a larger effective area, the power is better distributed. In other words, the smaller the effective area, the higher the chance of nonlinear effects. That's why larger effective area fibers are better.